Today I'm talking all about how to use Tailwind to schedule your pins quickly every week. This was a highly sought after video when I recently asked my community what they wanted to learn from me. I know there are a lot of visual learners out there, so let's dive into this week's quick tutorial on using Tailwind to schedule your pins, as well as those little tricks that you may not know about to just quickly add content back into your queue another time. So let's just hop right on into this week's quick tutorial. Okay, so let's just hop into scheduling Tailwind. So I have Tailwind open and I was actually just cleaning up my drafts. So there are some things in here I've pinned before and there are things in here I haven't pinned before, but I'm gonna leave these in here so I can reuse some of these descriptions. I'm just gonna copy and paste them and then tweak them a little bit. So. First things first is I'm going to go to my last published blog because I know there are pins there that I have not done anything with just yet. And I'm just going to use the Tailwind extension to upload my pins. So these two, this one is for sure sitting in my drafts. I'm not sure that I've pinned this one just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that one through. And it's coming with the description that's customized, so that's perfectly fine. We'll just have to edit the title, and I'm going to click Save for Later. So what we do is pull all of the pins from a from the blog into Tailwind. You can do this a hundred different ways. You consult any number of Pinterest experts, and they're going to tell you a different way to do this. I'm just showing you the quickest and easiest way to pull your pins from your website into Tailwind. Now, something else that you can do is just straight upload Pinterest images. These two were uploaded to Tailwind drafts. So if you're creating brand new images and you're uploading them into Tailwind, then this is where you will start that process as well. Just simply create them, upload them into Tailwind, and then you'll need to put the URL in. So this one doesn't have a URL and I'm going to put this one into here so that's where i'm going to send that pin and we will need a description for it but for now we're just going to click save changes so at this point in time if you're creating new images and you're uploading them, them to tailwind drafts do that now if you have created new pinterest images or you've already created pinterest images before and they are embedded in your blogs do that now Okay, so we're gonna go back to my Pinterest blog and we're gonna grab a couple more images. So I know I haven't pinned all of the, the tripwire funnel images and this is simply what you're gonna do. You're just gonna go through your blogs and if you've pinned all the blogs that are, in, or all of the pins that are embedded in your blog, then you know you need to start over because I know we need to start over with my blogs, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull in a couple new Pinterest images to Tailwind Drafts. This one is going to be about trends, I believe. So what I wanna do is actually pull through that description. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this so I can paste it over here and start fresh. So how to stay ahead of your competition all year long. This is definitely a Pinterest trends image. So I'm going to paste that in there and then I'm going to tweak this description. I usually change two to three sentences when I'm using another, like a description over, just to give it enough juice to be different. Um, so I'm gonna, I already put in there like uh, planning your content. So I'm gonna take that sentence out um, and then use this to plan your easy Pinterest marketing strategy. I just like to change it enough so Pinterest knows it's actually different. I need this blog post URL, so let's just grab that really quick. And we have that there. And then we have this pin is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and click save changes so everything will change. And then learn how to use Pinterest to get sales and leads. 
what I'm going to do is actually send that to my most recent blog post for um, Pinterest, my like super long pillar post. So same thing, I'm going to grab the URL for this post, I'm going to grab the Pinterest description for that I had pre-written, I'm going to use it as a base, and then I'm just going to go ahead and change it. Okay, so I've completely tweaked all of the descriptions that I'm going to use. I've added pin titles. The URLs are on the images as well, so you can just click in there and make sure that the URLs are in there. So I'm going to go ahead and start actually adding these into my queue so you can see how this works. Now before we do that, I would suggest I would suggest making sure that your board lists are actually set up. So you'll find that up here at the top. And these are all of my board lists that I have for this website. So I use board lists to pin quickly from inside Tailwind so I'm not spending hours of my time. You can lump your board lists together by same category if you have group boards that you pin too often or maybe you're just promoting new content. However your brain works to lump your, new, your board lists together. I just use similar board lists or per topic. I do topical board lists and then I can just quickly change or remove boards as I go. So let's hop over to drafts because we are ready to schedule these and I'm just going to stay uh, to the left first. I'm just going to start over here on the left. Click in here and then just I'm going to um, choose this is Pinterest I'm gonna choose my pin marketing boards first I'm gonna take out trends and then I'm gonna go up here to blogging I know these are my blogging boards and then I'm gonna add in new content which is my best of board and then from there you can add whatever you want so I'm gonna go ahead and add marketing and then that gives me eight boards and I usually like to stick around seven to eight and I'll come back the following week, pull this in from Pin Inspector and re-add it to my um, drafts so I can do it again. So what we're gonna do is click the community button and choose the boards that you want it to go to. So you can see that these are saying, hey, you've added this to uh, other these other boards before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it to two group boards or two tribes that we've not added it to before. We're going to click two, add it to two communities, and then we're going to come back over here and choose use interval. And I prefer to use one day. So if you just click in there and type in one D, it'll change it to one day. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and click schedule. And I'm going to do this for every single pen that I'm putting out for the week. So again, I'm going to show you how to do this one more time. And then um, I don't think you need to watch me schedule the rest of my queue. So I am going to choose a different one this time. So I'm going to put the pin marketing list in there, but I'm going to take off the top two because this is talking about the Pinterest trends tool. So I wanna go ahead and make sure I get the Pinterest trends tool in there and then I'll re-add those boards again. And then I'm gonna come and add my blogging boards. And you can add these in whatever order you want. Just know as they go out, if you use the same exact order on every single pin, then your board is going to go to those same board, or your pin is gonna go to those same boards in the same order all week long. And I like to stagger them a little bit. So by switching this up and putting Pinterest trends first, and then I can even stagger it some more and put Pinterest strategies last. And now all of this pin two is going to go to different boards and alternate. It's not gonna hit the same exact board as pin one did. You may be totally confused at this point, And if you are, I apologize. Please leave me a comment and I will do my best to explain. Um, and then you can add a few group boards on if you want to. I always add group boards on at the end um, just because I want all of my pins to go to my boards first. So let's go ahead and add this to a community, social media and digital marketing. Let's go ahead and add it to these two and click use interval. Make sure it's one day and schedule. And then 
that's it. So really quick, let me show you how to pull in pins that you've pinned previously, but you'd like to repin to your queue. So always make sure you click save changes in case anything in your drafts changed. And then we're gonna go to published. And from your published list, you're gonna find the pins that you previously published and you're going to pull them back into your drafts. So I like to do from my website, just to make sure that it is mine. And we'll not change this to date pinned. This will pull all your most recent published pins to the top. And you can just see here really quick, like, okay, I published all of these pins and I'm just looking for one that looks really like older. Let's click reschedule this one. And then what we're gonna do is just click save as draft. And then if you wanted to do this with a, a number of your pins, you can definitely do that right now. Just go in and re-add them. So you can go ahead and click reschedule. That window will pop up. You can click save as draft. And then at the same moment in time, if there are pins that you added to your Tailwind Tribes last week and you have not added them to tribes, any all of your other tribes just yet, let's say you have 10 tribes available and you wanted to add them to add your one pin to all 10. Well, you added it to two tribes last week, so you want to you want to add it to two more tribes this week. You're simply going to use the same screen and click add to communities and it's going to tell you when you last added it to the community and which community you've added it to. So you just have to go through and find them and which ones you've used. And it'll tell you that you added it to this community using a different image. You can see right there on the screen in that orange color, it says you've already added this content to the community two times using a different image. So if you know that's a brand new image, you've never added it to the tribe before, then you can go ahead and add it to that tribe at this point in time. Otherwise, if, if it says using this image, I wouldn't re-add it again. And that is it. This is how I pin and how my assistants pin using Tailwind and just getting everything in the queue really fast. If you liked this week's tutorial, make sure you give us a subscribe. We publish weekly content two times a week on this channel, all about Pinterest, Tailwind, the tools that you can use, reading your analytics. We even talk about ads quite often and we would just love to have you here. So if you liked this video and you'd like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and head on over and watch our Pinterest for beginners playlist so you can get started on your Pinterest marketing journey in 2021.